Hello, I'm Christina. Welcome to Yoga with Christina, Kriska Yoga. Today, I will be sharing the third video in my series, Yoga for Your Cycle. This is all about ovulation. So this is during that short period of time where you're ovulating. If you're tracking your cycle, it is likely that you know when you're ovulating or around the time that you're ovulating. Also, some people experience PMS type symptoms, so similar to PMS symptoms such as cramps, tenderness in your breasts, things like that, headache, a little bit of fatigue, moodiness, all of the fun stuff that we deal with during PMS. You might be experiencing that during ovulation as well. It's not as long as the end of your cycle, which I will share next video, but this sequence will help to aid ovulation, helps to activate and stimulate that area of your body, which is in your low belly. This is particularly helpful if you are trying to conceive. And although it's not a guarantee, nothing ever is, can't hurt. And the yoga poses are really good for your body. So if you're able to do it, I hope you enjoy this sequence. If you miss it, if you're experiencing a different time in your cycle, I shared two previous videos. The first one was for your menstrual phase, and the second one was for your follicular phase, which is also technically part of when you ovulate. So check those out as well and bookmark them for the next time you experience that in your cycle. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my free weekly yoga videos and the rest of this series. There's one more video in this series. So don't miss out on that. So if you're ready, grab your yoga mat and let's get started. Begin by coming down onto your hands and knees, touching your big toes together behind you. Sit your hips onto your heels and bring your forehead to the ground, stretching your arms out in front of you for child's pose. Relax here for a moment, coming inward and breathing deeply. Inhale, lift your head up slightly, threading the left arm underneath the right, bringing the left side of your head to the ground, reaching the left arm out to the right side for a twist in your child's pose, keeping the rest of your body where it is. Slowly lift your head up and switch sides, threading the right arm underneath the left, reaching the right arm out to the left, bringing the right side of your head to the floor. Keep the rest of your body stable in child's pose and your twist and hold here. Slowly come up, coming onto your hands and your knees. We'll take a melting heart stretch or puppy stretch, bringing the shins parallel to one another. Keep the tops of the feet on the floor. Reach the arms out in front of you and bring the forehead to the ground. Feel your back coming to an arch. Open the chest towards the ground here. Once again, we'll take a twist, lifting the head up slightly, thread the left arm underneath the right, looking over to the right, hold your twist. Lift your head up, threading the right arm underneath the left, bringing the right side of your head to the ground. Remain even with your hips and your legs, just twisting the torso and hold here. 
Come up out of your twist. Take the right leg, step it forward in between your hands, coming into a low lunge. Come to a twist here, reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling, looking up towards the right hand. Keep the left hand on the ground, twisting your upper body in your low lunge to the right. Bring the hand down, coming into a low lunge on the right side. Keep the knee above the ankle on the right, and the left knee is down onto the floor. And switch sides. Take the right leg back and step the left foot forward. Bring the knee directly above the ankle on the left. The right knee is down onto the floor, looking down. Come to your twist in your low lunge, reaching the left arm up, looking up towards the left hand. Keep the right hand on the ground, twisting the torso. Bring the arm down and come to a seated position. Cross the right leg over the left, and you can keep the left leg straight or bend it in as I'm doing here if you're able to, bringing the left heel in towards the right glute. Point the right knee upwards, wrap the left arm around the right leg, and bring your right arm behind you on the ground. Take an inhale and lengthen your spine before you exhale, twisting the upper body to the right. Remain in your twist and continue to breathe deeply and hold here. Unwind from your twist and come to an open twist in this position. Just switching the direction of your twist, keep your legs where they are, wrap your right arm around the right leg. Bring your left arm behind you. Once again, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist the upper body. Slowly uncross your legs, coming back to the center and switching sides. Cross the left leg over the right, pointing the left knee up towards the ceiling. You can keep the right leg straight, or if you're able to, bend the leg, bringing the right heel in towards the left glute. Once you're settled, Wrap your right arm around your left leg. Bring your left arm behind you. Inhale, sit up taller. Exhale, twist to the left. Breathe deeply through the nose and hold your twist. Slowly unwind and come to your open twist in this position, twisting the upper body in the opposite direction. Wrapping the left arm around the left leg, bring the right arm behind you, and twist the upper body on an exhale to the right. Keep the legs even, hips are even on the ground. Slowly unwind your twist and come back to the center. Come to lying on your back and hug your legs in towards your chest, flexing your feet, hold on to your shins with both hands. Straighten the left leg onto the ground, keeping the right leg hugged in towards the chest, holding onto the right shin with both hands. Flex both of your feet. Take the right leg, the bent leg, and cross it over to the left, keeping the left hand 
on the right leg to help keep it over to the side. Reach your right arm out to the side, looking over to the right. Hold here in your twist. Come back to the center, cross the right ankle over the left thigh, hold on to the hamstrings on the left leg with both of your hands, flexing both feet, hug the legs in, hold here. Keep your legs in this shape with your ankle crossed over the thigh. Set the left foot down onto the floor and then twist the lower body over to the left, bringing the bottom of your right foot to the floor. Take your left hand and keep it on your knee to help keep your right knee in line with your ankle. Reach the upper body to the right once again, coming to your twist. Hold here. Bring the legs back to center and switch sides. Straighten the right leg, hug the left leg bent in towards the chest, flexing both of your feet. Take the left leg, cross it over to the right side of your body. Keep your right hand on your left leg and reach the left arm out to the left. Looking over to the left, hold your twist. Bring everything back through the center, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, bend both of your legs, flex both of your feet, hold on to the hamstrings with both of your hands on the right leg, hug the legs in and hold. Keep your legs in this shape. Take your hands from the leg, set the right foot down onto the floor. Take your lower body and twist it over to the right, bringing the bottom of your left foot to the floor on the right side of your body. Use your right hand to help keep your left knee in line with the left ankle. Reach the left arm out to the side, looking over to the left, and hold your twist. Unwind from your twist, come back to the center, uncross your legs, briefly hug the legs in towards the chest, flexing both feet. Take one final twist, bring both legs over to the left. Keep the left hand on the right leg to help keep the legs over and reach your right arm out to the side, looking to the right. Hold your twist and breathe.
bring both legs back to the center and bring both of your legs over to the right. Reach your left arm out to the side. Keep your right hand on the left leg to help keep the legs over. Reach your left hand out to the side and look over to the left. Hold here in your twist. Gently bring the legs back to the center and straighten them out for Shavasana. Relaxing your limbs, place your hands down by your sides, palms facing up. Close your eyes and deepen your breath. Breathing through the nose in and out. Relax here. Feel free to practice visualization at this time. Perhaps you're visualizing a successful ovulation. Perhaps you're even visualizing for fertility. Whatever you are visualizing or whatever your goal is, picture it in your mind as you relax here in Shavasana and breathe deeply. Bring some slow and gentle motion back into your limbs, gently moving your hands, your feet, your arms, and your legs. Bend both of your legs and roll to the right side, resting there with your arm under your head for support. Use your hands to press yourself up, come to a seated cross-legged position. Bring your hands to your legs, sit up tall, close your eyes. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know of any questions you might have or future yoga class requests. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming yoga videos and the remaining video in this particular series. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Kriska Yoga and on my website, kriskayoga.com. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time.